Hello, I'm Rich with Tax TV, here to help you better understand some of the tax implications of S-Corporation compensation to shareholders. S-Corporations are small businesses that typically have a limited number of shareholders who many times are employees of the company. And as a general rule, an S-Corporation must pay all employees a reasonable salary, including shareholders. Now, planning compensation to a shareholder employee is important because there is often a different tax rate for dividends and wages. Let's take a look at an example. Gary is the sole shareholder for Gary Corporation, a properly elected S Corporation. He also serves as the company's president. Gary has served in executive positions with other large corporations and even has an MBA. Gary Corporation had a yearly revenue of $2 million and issued a dividend to Gary for the amount of $110,000. Gary's paid a salary of $24,000 for his position as president. The dividend and the salary are Gary's only sources of income, and Gary is a single taxpayer. Gary's total taxable income is $134,000. Based on the 2011 tax tables, this puts Gary in the 28% tax bracket. However, dividends are not taxed at the normal income tax rates, but at a lower percentage. In Gary's case, the dividends and his salary will both be taxed at 15%. How you characterize the payments can make a difference of over $10,000 in federal taxes. As clearly demonstrated in the example, S Corporation shareholder employees can save money on taxes if they take a small salary and receive payment in the form of dividends. Consequently, S Corps that attempt to characterize wages as dividends for shareholder employees may have the IRS recharacterize the dividends as wages and may subject the S Corporation to penalties and late fees for a failure to pay Federal Insurance Contributions Act, Federal Unemployment Tax Act, and State Unemployment and Disability Taxes. Compensation for shareholder employees must be reasonable. However, Congress has provided no guidance on what is reasonable salary. Instead, the various courts that have ruled on this issue have based their determinations on the facts and circumstances of each case. Some factors considered by the courts in determining reasonable compensation, training and experience, duties and responsibilities, payments to non-shareholder employees, what comparable businesses pay for similar services, compensation agreements. For more information about S-Corporations, check out our S-Corporation Center at TaxTV.com.